Hi everyone, my name is Sri Teja and I'm here with Mr. Kramwan, the executive editor of the New York Times and also a Stanford professor. And I just wanted to ask you, Mr. Kramwan, what are your thoughts on chat GPT and what are its possible effects on like future writers and students like me? Thank you, Teja. I would say beware. It's a wonderful thing to help you write, but remember that it makes you one of a million and you want to be one in a million. You need to personalize anything you write. You need to add warmth. ChatGPT doesn't do that. Be careful that you not sound like everybody else who's using the same program. Got it. That's really valuable advice. Thank you so much, Mr. Cremon. Pleasure. Thank you. gives you the information you want uh, quickly, but then you have to take that information and synthesize it and create something original and thoughtful from it. You can't just use the information. Otherwise, it reads like an encyclopedia. Yeah. Free to Excellent you. question. I, uh, they, there's a team of people who write and then I edit them. I'm not more than proofread. I make sure that it has the right content mm -hmm. and again, the right personal touch to it. So it feels like it's just about this one person. I, you know, I, I, I love this. Do you have it? Uh, can you guys open it? We can try right now. Yeah. It's okay. like Pulitzer, you got it. Prize, nomination for Daniel, and I'll spell the last name, B-E-R-E-H-U-L-A-K. Oh, L-A-K. Oh, I like L-A-K. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> so again, it's mediocre. It isn't close to what I would do, but the information it gleaned so quickly and organized into cogent writing is astonishing. A Pulitzer Prize nomination for Jason, J-A-S-O-N, Zinnemann, Z-I-N-O-M-A-N. Okay, this, this is gonna be harder for it. So if you could say that too, it's, it, it is, it's, I, I can see what it's doing. It's scraping the web for his bio, mm -hmm. but what, this is not going to win him the Pulitzer Prize. And that's my point is that this writing will never win you recognition. It's adequate for a lot of people, but it's not, uh, so it's, this is so interesting because I spent two hours this morning thinking, what makes this guy special? He writes about comedy for the New York Times. All this does is say, okay, here's what I can find on the web about Jason Zinnerman. Mm -hmm. That's why you want to avoid it. But that said, the information it provides, I need. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You just have to, you could have it write your speech mm -hmm. because it might find a lot of material that you didn't yeah. even think of, yeah. but then you have to mold it into yeah. something that's exactly. yours. Oh, that helps significantly. Yeah. This is a miracle. I, I, this is like the most <laughs> exciting lunch I've had in months or, or uh, hours.
this is, it is just, just seeing this, um, I can't wait. I'll let you know what the reaction is when my colleagues see it. They're going to freak.